Malialis, Wikipedia article audio. A malialis is the bony prominence on each side of the human ankle. Medial malialis. Lateral malialis. Clinical significance. Fracture. Each leg is supported by two bones, the tibia on the inner side of the leg and the fibula on the outer side of the leg. The medial malealis is the prominence on the inner side of the ankle, formed by the lower end of the tibia. The lateral malealis is the prominence on the outer side of ankle, formed by the lower end of the fibula. The word malealis, plural maleali, comes from Latin and means small hammer. The medial malealis is found at the foot end of the tibia. The medial surface of the lower extremity of tibia is prolonged downward to form a strong pyramidal process, flattened from without inward, the medial malealis. Structures that pass behind medial malealis deep to the flexor retinaculum. The lateral malealis is found at the foot end of the fibula, is of a pyramidal form and somewhat flattened from side to side, it descends to a lower level than the medial malealis. A bimalleolar fracture is a fracture of the ankle that involves the lateral malealis and the medial malealis. Studies have shown that bimalleolar fractures are more common in women, people over 60 years of age and patients with existing comorbidities. A trimalleolar fracture is a fracture of the ankle that involves the lateral malleolus, the medial malleolus, and the distal posterior aspect of the tibia, which can be termed the posterior malleolus. The trauma is sometimes accompanied by ligament damage and dislocation. Ankle joint Deep dissection Lateral view Ankle joint Deep dissection Ankle joint Deep dissection This article incorporates text in the public domain from page 5 of the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. The medial surface of this process is convex and subcutaneous, the lateral or articular surface is smooth and slightly concave and articulates with the talus, the anterior border is rough, for the attachment of the anterior fibers of the deltoid ligament of the ankle joint, the posterior border presents a broad groove, the malola sulcus, directed obliquely downward and medially, and occasionally double, this sulcus lodges the tendons of the dibialis posterior and flexor digitorum longus. The summit of the medial malleolus is marked by a rough depression behind, for the attachment of the deltoid ligament. Tibialis posterior tendon, flexor digitorum longus, posterior tibial artery, posterior tibial vein, tibial nerve, flexor hall uci's longus. The medial surface presents in front a smooth triangular surface convex from above downward, which articulates with a corresponding surface on the lateral side of the talus. Behind and beneath the articular surface is a rough depression, which gives attachment to the posterior talofibular ligament, the lateral surface is convex, subcutaneous and continuous with the triangular, subcutaneous surface on the lateral side of the body, the anterior border is thick and rough, and marked below by a depression for the attachment of the anterior talofibular ligament, the posterior border is broad and presents the shallow malola sulcus, for the passage of the tendons of the perinei longus and brevis, the summit is rounded, and gives attachment to the calcanofibular ligament.